Now it's loading. As you can hear, it's got quite a good sound on it. But the first thing I'm going to do is turn it down so you can hear me. Um, okay, this is the main menu. Um, unlike a salt cube, you get met with an actual menu, whereas a salt cube, you go straight into the game. But this menu is similar to the one where you press escape on a salt cube. Um, it's got multiplayer, bot matches, um, campaign, load map, which I assume is just loading a saved bot match or campaign, editing, and the options. In the options, it's got loads and loads of things you can change, just sort of resolution, graphics, and everything, everything like that. If I go on campaign and show you that, I don't know how to start at a different level than level 9. I think these are actually different campaigns. Oh, maybe. Start this mission. Never tried it before in my life. This is the sort of, as you can see, it's just like a salt cube. It looks like a picture above. Oh, gone into edit. It's got edit mode. Did that by accident though. It's a bit of a flaw in the campaign, really, because you can quite easily cheat by pressing edit mode and flying off somewhere. Like this. Um, when you run, when you strafe, you wobble. Just a bit more extra detail. You can turn it off, I believe. Um, that, that box I just got. Oh god, I need it already. Um, if you you always get a grenade launcher, or quite often get a grenade launcher and a pistol. You always have this pistol. Um, you can't zoom with the sniper. Which is sort of a bolt action rifle. And this is one downside I found. If you saw that box that I was pointing at, I don't know if I said it already, I probably did. Oh, here's one. That gives you um, ammo. If I changed to the shotgun, I just picked up sort of a four barrel shotgun sort of thing. Seems to be very ineffective at killing these. Um, again, you can scroll to change weapons, and then it's the numbers. I'm trying to find one. That's it has third person. You press oh edit mode again. You press nine it goes to third person. It's a nice feature but I would never use it, it's horrible. And then it's the chainsaw sort of thing. It's a nice upgrade from that blunt knife in Soul Cube. Um if I just play on a little bit and show you. If I fly on, I might be able to find some other weapons that aren't rubbish. Carrot? I don't know what that is. Let's see what it is. Oh. I think if you go in the carrot. Oh no. That looks like a rifle. Only five rounds though. I don't know what that is. I'll just pick up all this stuff. Let's see what it is. So I picked up a rifle. Wait, where's it gone? The minigun. I think it's a minigun. That's what I'm going to call it. This rifle, which is a ma massive kick. You can't zoom, which I find really annoying. I can't find a way to zoom. Oh, yeah, there you go, Z. Don't know if you can do it on all the guns. Let's try it. Yeah, you can zoom on all the guns. Um, two other guns I've got. Rifle, grenade launcher. I just show you the explosions. They're quite they're a lot better right? than the salt cube. Oh, there's also a massive bazooka -y thing, but I can't. Oh, I don't know how to find my own. Go in edit mode and fly around, see if I can find one. No, not there. It's not one, that's not one. These, gun, these um, guns are obviously all in there. Multiplayer as well. Lots of nasties to kill. It's a teleporter. Don't want to be spawning there. Anyway, yeah, that's the um, uh, campaign. If I quit and go back in it, so I can get that nice main menu up again. Um, bot match is just... Oh, I'll show you that. Um, yeah, I'll put them rubbish skill. I won't put all of them on. Um, loads of game types. I don't know what they all are. They're all coded like... Um, Guess that's free for all. Capture has got to be kept the flag. Loads of maps. There's a couple of pages of them. Really, some of the maps on this are really nicely made though. Like 
as you can see in the little picture. Let's have a look at all of them. That one looked good. Have a look at this. Capture. Capture on neutral bases to steal enemy bases. Oh, this is, I think it's sort of land grab. These things, I think, are the things I've got to capture. Maybe it's an enemy or not. Please yep, he's definitely an enemy. Let's try that again. Keep going any mode. Or forever pressing, it's really annoying. Come on, come on, come on. Let me spawn. There we go. I've got this rifle again. I'm trying to base. And when anyway, when you're when you capture a base eventually. If I let them back around, here's some armor. Um, when you eventually capture a base, base lost. You um, you get health and ammo, right? Health boost. Quad damage in ten seconds. How do I get that myself? I'm a bit stuck at the moment. Um. See that guy had a missile on channel, I'll see a base here, I can get one. Ah, see they go. Missile launcher. Oh there you go, here's a missile launcher. Missile launcher. Nice, nice work. You can carry so many rounds. Yeah, okay, that's bomb mode, and that's pretty much a multiplayer, looks like I'll just quickly go on it. Um, can you go on the mod? Shot him up. Um, when you go on multiplayer, uh, you can it's just like a salt cube really. You can change what you look like. I like this one seems the best. Um, and then it's server browser again, just like the other one. Sort of looks nicer. It's got four pages as opposed to a massive scrolling list. Try and play one. There we go. So they just nice maps. Always nice maps, really. Don't know why I'm spawning on the top though. I want to be on the one. And again, it's just a tad further scores. You right at the bottom as usual. It's a bit of a boring game. Teleporter. Game over. That was fun. Um, yeah, and the edit mode's got loads of loads and loads of stuff you can faff around with. I'm not. I don't. I've seen. I watched a video. Just put it into YouTube. Some guy going crazy in the edit mode. It's not my cup of tea, but I'm glad people make good maps. quit the whole game. So that's Sorbiton or Cube 2.